Hello everyone, Mephone and Son of Beast here, along with the commentators, as the NBA playoffs continues on 2K Sports. Now it's time for the conference semifinals in a second round of Eastern and Western Conference. It's next, after this. Mepho here, and we are about to start things off in the first game of round two in the conference semifinals. Yes, that's right, because we have a two versus three matchup here. We already done the Golden State Warriors beating against the other team of Denver Nuggets. They have already on a roll here to pick up their strength. And real, it was a 4-1 game as Golden State Warriors have won game five. But now, this next matchup could be a little bit more intense here, but we might have to find out who will take it first win here in Game 1. It could be the difficult answer to make a sudden question in between those two. Yeah, and I, I guess there might be something going on right now. But without any other options, let's take you down to FedEx Forum to start the game of this presentation of the NBA Playoffs. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA Playoffs. The Memphis players making their way through. The Looks like they are on their way through. And I think the Penny fans are ready to get fired up here. John Moran, those guys, we'll see how well they do. Good evening here at Memphis, Tennessee. It's an amazing day to have a game live here for the Western Conference semifinals here for round number two of the NBA playoffs. There's a lot about going on here as me and Son of Beast here, we have Ali LaForce on the sideline. Ali, yours. Thanks, Brian. Well, after growing up in a small town in South Carolina, John Morant right at home here in Memphis, and he brought his family with him. He said... We're out by ourselves, not too many people around, like back at home. My parents still cook. It's the same thing. Just the house is bigger. Must be nice. Very nice to you done here, Ali. Thank you. And some two other ones here. The key matchup is John Morant and Stephen Curry. The one thing about me for Stephen Curry is that he is a, uh, on the show here on Holy Moly. If you catch the episode here, it's already out now on ABC, or you could watch any time on demand. To, to catch up if you miss the most. And John Moran is the only player that was able to play here before. He's the pro, but now he might be going for another one to give it another try. Steve Kerr is the head coach, and for most of all, the game's about to start. Ball is, balls goes up, and we have a winning tip off here. It's the Grizzlies, all filled up and ready to go. Starting off is, uh, is Bain, then it's Steven Adams in center. Dylan Brooks out in this game for a, for, a real, for a real game, but it may be very hard if we are finding out if there's a chance that might be coming back in the game. And also we have this John Moran in point guard on Stephen Curry, Draymond Green on Stephen Adams, Andrew Wiggins, Dan Jordan Poole, and along is Draymond Green. Draymond Green, also definitely with one thing that we can definitely uh, go for is that Draymond Green is like a hard and impact in the game. Most of the time gets up a great angle to make his time debut to an easy game. Also we have his Clay Thompson. He also made his way through. He done a great job helping his team. And also they might be looking for a chance to get back into the conference semifinals to the finals. Well, we'll see how well they do, because there is a very uh, hard chance to make them catch by. Also, with, uh, with a lot of important stats out there, this could be a very tough one to make the end match come dare to dare. Here's Moran on seven Curry. Shuffles up a board, takes a shot, it goes off the rim as Green takes a rebound. Warriors lead by one. Passes inside, Wiggins takes a layout drive, and it's Stephen Curry with the assist. Now that's a great help here on offense here. Great feed for Stephen Curry to make the inbound go big again. Now, John Moran. Screen is on Jaron Jackson Jr. Inside, look out below! It's John Moran with the dunk, and it's now turning to be a one-point trail. Look at that, John Morant drive. You can't even take him down like a main man on the board. 
Wiggins on Jackson Jr. Clay Thompson takes a dunk and a slam cam has been rejoicing. Clay Thompson really got a good piece of that one here. Great feed here for Andrew Wiggins. He was already open up here and that was a slam that could turn out to be one of his best favorite. And that was your AT&T 5G slam cam. All the internet assets may be following you behind to show the pride. The ball was tipped in and it was goes on the rim and he gets a point. Two pointer to go here for Jaron Jackson Jr. But there's still more to get right by the coverage. Cool. Switches up on the Two very left to go. Curry for three. Good on the outside range. And he has his first second three pointer of the game. 12 to 8 run for, for the Warriors as the Grizzlies trail by four. Jackson Jr. delivers to Adams. Sorry, Java Rant. Now Jackson Jr. Double man covered. Six to shoot. Goes inside. Gets missed up and gets attacked by Darren Darren Green. Only two minutes left here to play in the first quarter. Here's Clay Thompson. Inside, count the bucket and one. Dylan Brooks receives his first foul. And that'll be a first team foul in Memphis. You know, and a terrific feat for uh, for Clay Thompson, how uh, well he has done. Since at that time, it could be very uh, challenging. And it looks like he was uh, an awesome player to make him uh, make him alive again and again. Sometimes it can be very hard for him to try to, like, pick him up the pride, pace a little more. It might be very tough for him to give it another try. The free throw knocks it in for Thompson. Here's Anderson. We're under two minutes left here to go in the first quarter. Screen coming in for Clarkson. Anderson looking for an open man advantage. Crossover move. In the paint, up for two. That will be a good corner for Anderson to start off the first pointer here for game one of round two. Now, Stephen Curry, going inside, nobody on him. He makes a terrific drive, and it's now a seven-point lead for the Warriors. Stephen Curry's on fire already. Looks like he's looking for somebody else here to try to take him on, and then want to head back to the finals. That would be a great idea if he would like to keep the angle moving and put a pressure on him to do it again. Looney outside. Curry in the middle. On Clarkson. This is off back to Looney. Over the two-pointer, that will be a good two-bucket score for Kevon Looney. And Seven Curry gets another assist. Points in the paint has been compared here for, Gris for Grizzlies and the Warriors. 12 points here, 100%. Anderson going back in paint, loses off to Brooks. 40 seconds left to play in the first, and a free second is called on Manuel Anderson. Now a new changeup is being released here for the Warriors as Clay Thompson's checked out and Porter's checked in. Now here's Curry. Curry will try to uh, swoop things up a little bit. Now Kuminga will take the three. That is a good three-pointer and they're up extension again. They're on fire right now. They are on a streak. They are picking up pressure to steam. Now Clark. Clark back to Jones. They're moving the ball. Well, oop, unsuccessful range here for Clark. And a rebound is taken by Curry. Payton back to Curry. Ten seconds left to go. Three-pointer again. And still good. Stephen Curry has got another three-pointer. Jones delivering up the two. Conchar, good try. And that will be another two-pointer. And that will end the first quarter with a 25-12 lead of the Warriors. They're extending right now. They are just pushing up the pace. The second quarter is about to be coming up next. We will catch you right for the break when we come back. Second quarter about to start as the Warriors have 25 and Memphis 12. The only thing that proves me that it looks like the most valuable uh, players have turned out to be one of the best this year in the highlights here. Clay Thompson, Stephen Curry, Draymond Green, Kevon Mooney, and also, of course, 
Andrew Wiggins. They're all in their precious team here on the Dynamic 5 here for those teams. But I think there might be a best three players that definitely did it all for, for amazing play efforts. That could be a good idea to make them play, go for back to back. Kuminga inside, he's fouled, and it will count the bucket in one. Anderson releases a first personal and another team foul occurs on Memphis. And Jonathan Kuminga, what a great pass by Stephen Curry. He is on a perfect run here in game one. Day looks like he did have it all, and now he will have to shoot one at the free throw line. The Warriors are making another free throw attempts here, here at the first half of the game. Right now it's now down to 4.49 left to go. One shot. Releases a free throw, and it's now 28-12. Grizzlies trail by 16. Anderson on Kaminga. Screen on Williams, but will not be in time. Williams up, he takes a dunk. Williams gets his first one in the range, and it's, a, it's another slam dunk going back the other way. I don't know what to tell you this one. They are all over the place. Because of how it happens, they are picking up a lot of dunks. Now Curry. Valitza in for three. That's good. A perfect three-pointer range for Valitza, and an assist is Curry again. Once more, they're going all over again. again. He is like an unstoppable run for tonight. Anderson, now he delivers another dunk. This one is reaching it back in there. They want to pound it through. They do. They really wanted to give it a try. They want to stop the pressure. Hitting off to Curry for three. And it will be a missed three opportunity here for that second quarter to start for game. Conchar right to Anderson. Back to Conchar. Now, dish off to Melton. Melton on Curry. Didn't get his two-pointer yet. Down to five on the shot clock. Two-pointer. Clark with the rebound. An excellent D on Porter. That will be his first rebound for the night. Now Curry. Payton out front. Side. Corner free. And timeout called by Memphis. And Curry takes up another assist. They are on the run. They are a double run here for tonight. They are on pressure, they got fire, they are all warmed up to be the best plays of the game. If you're tuning in for the Stanley Cup uh, playoffs, we will catch you eyes on here for the game number two at each, uh, at each couple of games here. And for the next one, for the second round in for the conference semifinals. In the Eastern and Western Conference, once the first round is over, we will head you back here to the conference semifinals of the Stanley Cup playoffs. It was a lot of fun out there, even the course that we all called for. That was the Flames and a shout out win here for the New York Rangers. They always do in for this game, but not for real game because now the Penguins are in the lead. They have it all down below that question. That could be a very hard one to get right by him. I think that might be a very tough arm angle to give him another try. Now the new change has been occurred as Jaron Jackson Jr. is checked back in. He's also here for John Moran. Now the four players are checked out. Poole, Wiggins, Felixa, and Green. Also with Steven Adams and Bain. Morant dishes off to Williams. Back to Steven Adams. He's covered by Kevon Looney. The two range. It goes short. And Payton with the rebound. Payton reaches up over the pool. This is off to Wiggins. Wiggins coming inside the paint. Reached it and rebounded by John Morant. John Morant's looking for another rebound here. He might be going for another one. Tough angle. And now Williams picks up a rebound from himself. They're all over the place. They really wanted to start trying to stop the pressure on them. They wanted to knock them out of here. Morant, dishing off the two, a driving, coming by. Morant, you could definitely tell that he's got some rare skills inside from the range. Belitza, awesome pass play by Poole. And that will be Belitza's number two pointer of the game. 2-10 left to go. Now Bay. He catches back to Williams. 
Just about two minutes left here to go for the first half of the period. Williams gets it back. No foul call as Belitza takes a block out of him. They're always good defenders. They wanted to make them pay. And Payton goes out of bounds as this one goes for a turnover on Golden State. Now Clay Thompson and Kevon Looney will check in for Belitza and Payton. Also another group changing here as well. And that was Belitza's mobile one block. That was definitely true. It all turned out to be good. Because of Belitza, he has a has a lot of um, strength here. He could try to knock them down and pay them for the price. Here's Moran. He's covered up by Poole. Trying to work him back on the main run. Moran goes inside and he's fouled by Draymond Green. That will be the first team foul on Golden State. And the first personnel goes on for Green. John Moran with that hold that drive. He was going to like take it anyway. But they almost caught up for the, uh, for the block, but the, it was too late. So it looks like Moran got lucky enough to go to the free throw line. Right now, the Memphis Grizzlies are taking a free throws here for the first half. This one, only two, comes in for Golden State Warriors. It's the first free throw. Without calling John Moran for himself, he was the most uh, player that was able to be drafted here in 2019. Now his moment of it usually pays him off. He is now ready to take it for uh, or all the coverage that he wants to do. He could be the next one to get right by it. Moran hits the second free throw. It's now 35-20. Here's Poole as the, as the Warriors lead up by 15. It's off to Thompson. Thompson's fouled. Held the bucket on one. That is a two-pointer score for Clay Thompson. An open look feeder, and he's fouled for by Bain. That'll be his second personal number team foul. Clay Thompson really got some good open feed. Thanks to Poole, he has an assist coming down here, and looks like the Warriors wanted to rust them up to take the fight. Thompson hits the free throw. Now here's Moran. A minute and a half to play here for the first half of the game. Moran, as the screen is on Bain. The Brooks. Bain outside. Bain looking for an open man to scan along the floor. Six on the shot clock. With the two, Jackson Jr. Goes off down, Adams with rebound, and he goes off wide. What a D here for Draymond Green. He's doing a lot of uh, hard pressure here. Draymond Green wants to try to slow them down, and they want to like, like stop the run in game one because they're coming back in there. And it's Draymond Green with the layup drive. Draymond Green, first bucket of the night, looking for his uh, game effort here for tonight. Morant, driving inside the paint, no good. Thompson, looking for an open floor, and a pool is outside, covered by Moran. 30 seconds left to play for the first half. This is off, Thompson for three, good, and a triple, a number three-pointer for the Warriors, and they're extending the lead up by 23. That was a lot of huge plays out there. Thompson and their teammates are trying to, like, shut them down here in the first half. But I think the second half, they're going to definitely win that game. Ten seconds left to play in a regulation. Seven to shoot. Moran. Off with the two. Two-pointer can't go. And the first half will close. It's 43-20. And the Warriors lead by 23. Without any other exceptions here, we now take you down to Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Guys, thanks. Andrew, this team has set the tone at the defensive end. What's working for you? Uh, we've got after it. You know, it's the main thing, you know, we're just trying to make it uncomfortable. That's everything. And, you know, we're converting on the other side. 
It's all about the effort. Back to you. Thank you, Rally. Second half will begin right after this. Stick around later for the third quarter. All right, we're in a halftime show. What a hustle and bound here for the Warriors as the first game was like a shocking, terrible season. Well, let's take a look at the recap as the all the commentators will have discussion. Take it away, guys. What a start it was for Stephen Curry. He had 13 points, 6 assists, and 2 rebounds. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what you think? They're getting everything they could ask for at the perimeter. Finding open shots, making the defense look foolish, honestly. You don't like to say that, but that's what they're doing. But that defense has to be coming down if they don't. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Grizzlies. First of all, where's the intensity on D? You think when a team is punking you like this, you're at least trying to stop it. No. You keep giving up overlooks, letting the league get bigger and bigger and bigger. That should do it, Gary. Thank you so much for tuning in for the recap of Halftime Show. Now let's get you back in the game. And if you're tuning in, we'd like to welcome you back to the FedEx Forum as the third quarter is about to begin. It's a 43-20. They're making so many points for, for the Golden State Warriors to keep an eye on, including this player, but all legendary player comes in for Stephen Curry. Yeah, he is the ultimate uh, all-time favorite. Everybody loves Curry. But for Seth Curry, well, we have to discuss him if he can find himself to play them against the Golden State Warriors. That might be a good idea if we can get ready for the next season of NBA 2K23. Now here's Curry, covered up by Murray. Curry going in the paint, backs him up to have some personal space. Curry inside, a terrific feed for two. Now he has 15. He is on the cooling run of a better play and angle drive. Only one miss of a three-pointer, but all the developer takes is he's got a great hustle. Bay back to Morin. Dish off to Brooks. Screen on Adams. With a fade, four to shoot. Adams, made for three. That carries another miss here for Memphis Grizzlies three-pointer. Wiggins inside. He's going to like go around him. And Matt Jackson Jr. hits the block. A first block of the game to the start of the second half. Adams with the rebound. And puts a dunk in. What a hustle bound of Stephen Adams. The man of himself. He's like a star killer out there. Wow. Curry on Moran. He goes right in the paint. And he got a good D for Steven Adams. Another miss goes up to Curry. That's two misses in the game. All perfect at once. Well, maybe very tough for him. But he's a little bit shorter off because he has a taller man. That could be a very hard for him to give it a try. But sometimes it could be easy. Brooks carries along the rebound. 3.20 left to go for the third quarter. Now Bain takes it outside. 3.15 left to go. Adams with the fade, jumper, no good. Poole off to Thompson. Now Thompson will deliver it up in the offense. Green with the screen, Adams on it, uh, Thompson. Curry outside for three, good on the triple. That was another three-pointer, and it's Thompson with the assist. Thompson really knows it so much. He's like a dynamic duo out there. Without missing the last season of the game, it was very hard for him to come back. But now the whole fans are happy for him to be playing here on the court after pandemic strike. Morant spin move, look at that play! And the timeout is called up by the Golden State with just 2.31 to go. Morant's like the only player through. He's like a spinner through and a jumper and says, who's that? Then, well, there isn't anybody, but that might be a very good one to call for here. The NBA playoffs on 2K22 is brought to you by your Kia dealers, official vehicle of the NBA. State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Talk to an agent today and call a quick throw quick today at 1-800-STATE-FARM. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. The only place that we have already talked to him about here, the Warriors already made some of great streaks out there. Only lost a couple of games here in game 
in the first season, and the fourth, and then the second season, and then the third season was a little strike-off knockout year in this game. But it was very tough for him to try to work this way on the run. That could be a very tough one to go right by it. Now some new changes have occurred for the Warriors and the Memphis Grizzlies. As late so, we'll check back in, along with Kaminga and Peyton, along with Porter. New changes here for Grizzlies as four players come off the court. And four players come on the court. Conjar, Williams, Anderson, and Jackson Jr. switches over to the center. Porter for three. Nobody around him, and that will be another three-pointer attempt. The Golden State Warriors are making another three-point percentage on the board. And now we're under down to two minutes left here for the third quarter. Anderson outside. Pass it back to Morant. Belaita on him. Jackson Jr. right on Curry. Conchar for three. Good on the triple. That's got Jackson Jr. with the assist. And now they're coming back in there to have another run. And they're trailing by 36. Belaita on Jackson Jr. Curry outside. Passes back to Kaminga. Kaminga on Anderson. Six to shoot. Hayden on needs to get a shot. He will go for it. And it was short. Taking it over by Concha. Concha was already getting there at that time. Oh, whoa. Williams making slam dunk contacts. And Concha takes the assist. That was a smoke out there. Williams, you better hold on to your seat because it was about to blow your mind. Curry, another three-pointer of a range, and they're extending it up again by 35. They are always on the run. They really love to make another three-pointer attempt for Curry. They are looking for him tonight to win it again. Conchar, right on Peyton. Anderson with the screen. Williams outside. Six to shoot. Anderson and the uh, paint. Goings inside. Another miss by Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies are in trouble right now. That's all because of what happened. They are really are making up no pressure. Kaminga got a great two pointer. And, and Peyton gets another resist here for tonight in game one. Morant swiping over to make another screen attempt. Morant up to Jackson Jr., right to Conchar. Now he will have another screen by Williams. Driving inside. It's off the ball on the rim. Order off to Peyton. Here's the fast break. And he's fouled by Jackson Jr. His first personal. And it'll be another, another team foul. For Leach's reaches up on Grizzlies. This was a very tough one. Making decisions is out is no is no joke. That's what you have to do. You gotta get right in the game. Or else. That will be all pressured out, and that will be your foul to be called on your team players. First free throw drops it in for Peyton. Now you got a lot of those stats is out there. They got something else to go right behind. Looney is checked in for Belitsa. Belitsa comes off the court. And new changes for the Grizzlies as Jackson Jr. comes off. Clark, Belton, and Jones are checked in. Second free throw for Peyton is good. This is now a 58-29 game. Five seconds for the Grizzlies. And the alley-oop. What a pass for a play by Brendan Clark. They have got an alley-oop successful. What a save him out there. They got a great hustle. The half court for Curry, no good, and a third quarter has ended up in the books. It's 58-31. The next one could be the win for the Warriors in game one. We'll be right back for the fourth quarter after this break. Now the fourth quarter is about to be underway here as we have one more left. We got an outstanding here for this game. The Golden State Warriors are killing their streak here. They make another fantastic win here in the playoff position. It looks like they're looking for a chance to take the number one team to go against the number three team. That might be a good idea if we can do it the other way too. Now here's Porter. This is off to Looney. Looney, this off to Kaminga. 
Kaminga inside the paint. Just up, the two point is good. And another two point excellent feed here. Gives it up for Warriors a 25 and 15. Then 18 here by scoring the quarters. Now a two point chance here for the Grizzlies. Here's still, man. Hasn't able to play here for this game. Up over to Jones. Over around Lee. And a no good shot taking from here. Porter was just an incredible performance run. He's like a killer. Payton. Swings it over. Looney. Looney takes a shot. And it's a great feed by Payton. And Payton is just a, an outstanding run here. Moment of time later then. They were looking for another chance here to do a two winning streak. That an excellent feed by Clark. Another two pointer goes in for field goals. And there's a lot of changes up here for the first and second half. There was a lot of changing movement going on with an extending run here for this game. Order outside, the three pointer is tipped away. Mellon on the attack. Making a dribble move inside the paint with nobody around. He backs up and we got a loony rejection. We're checking a two pointer out there. Now the block is up in the lead for the Warriors. Lee, Looney with the screen. Inside the paint and mid drum thunk goes up in and he has his first bucket. What an extending run here. There are so many players that they are going to make some dunks here. And most of the fans, they, they are really disappointed for the Grizzlies. Melton's turn to make a slam. And it's now a 64-35 lead game. Yeah, but there's not enough time here to make them pay for. That's all they have here. And this should be the end here for game one for the Warriors win. Two-pointer up. That's a good feed here for another two-point opportunity for the Warriors. 66-35. Grizzlies trail by 30 by 31. Reaching over again. There's up another alley oop to Clark. This one now goes back inside. What a finishing moment here, and I can't believe that Brennan Clark just released up another alley-oop successful. That's two in a row. Lee on Jones. He goes right back to Porter. Porter, and then gets knocked out, and Jones takes a steal. Williams outside. Moves around, inside he goes, another dunk, taking another two-pointer effort for Williams. There are so many turnovers here for one, and that's two turnovers. But off the turnover won't be enough for them to give them another try. Yeah, I always expected that with you because there was another change up here that wanted to get him out of the way. But now this all does turn out that it was a very tough mold make-out drive in the head. Kamenga making the drive in, and Clark will have to like hold the ball here and go back the other way. Kaminga has another two-point bucket score, and they're extending up again. Jones in right on, on Looney. Williams outside. Time is kicking away as he only approached one minute left here in the fourth quarter. Jones, he takes the drive. Two-pointer feeds him inside. What a great, a terrific drive out there. That may be another one to go by. Now, here's Peyton. He dishes off the Porter. Step back, Walter Williams, another miss by Golden State. Jones has his ball. Now he will take his over to take it the other way. Tillman back to Jones. Tillman outside. Tillman delivers off to Jones. Two-pointer feed. Excellent feed work here for Tillman. And Jones have another two-pointer. And that is a first assist here for tonight. He's all quiet out there. Not able to be coming in for the first round of the game. But he is all ready for the second round here in the game. It's just another good topable breakout play. They're all doing it again. Last possession for the Grizzlies. With a two. Rebound it up, Clark, and Tillman will have to close things off. Jones will close the gap here. The Warriors wins the game, 70-43.
They now have the first winning game here, this one. They all haven't got numbers. Strength in numbers, it looks like that the Warriors wanted to go back here and do it for the second time since they already have lost a couple of games here in every season. I know they were looking for an R1, but we're going to give them another try if there's a chance for them to pick up the play. They already seen them playing here for the for the uh, last couple season last season here in a wild card to play in tournaments. And this one will be back here for another season to bring things off and see what they can do. Now for the three star players of the game, let's get started off with you, son of beast. Thank you so much. And here's number three we all have carried all along, John ja Morant. Only spin move did quite some uh, good some performance here and a dunk. Also with turning with the first rebound and other ones was already been lined up late. So that is all he has to go for. He is all for Morant. Now for number two we have again is Jonathan Kamingo. 12 points in the game, only one rebound and one dunk performed. Now that was all it took out from his moment of range. He is now in the board for the first game. And I bet that Kaminga would have a chance to go for another one. I think he's going to do it a second time here in game two. So we're going to have another discussion here in between the votes. And for number one, let's have you again. Uh, me, of course, I know who got a New Balance player of the game for the first game. It was all hands on Stephen Curry. 21 points, 3 rebounds, and 7 assists. A terrific 38 performance run. He was all in his hands. And Curry is a legendary player here. He could be going for another NBA Finals to go back in the game. We'll see how his run goes when there's a chance to get back in the game. Now that will do here all Game 1 completion. We will have Game 2 next as we have the Bucks and the Celtics here back at... Milwaukee at Fiserv.forum. And then the next game we will have is the is the Heat and the Sixers back at Miami. And then the Western Conference will go back from head to head from the Warriors and Grizzlies along with the Suns and the Jazz. So thank you for watching. And until next time, peace out everyone for as a while as the NBA playoffs of NBA 2K22 dial. This is me phone along with Son of Beast. We'd like to appreciate your support. With a, with a happy, amazing day of this game. Have a good night, everyone. See you all back here for the Stanley Cup playoffs to continue for the game.